Good morning. I'm asked to calculate the gradient of the line going through the following points. And they give me two questions, A and B. So I have to calculate the gradient yeah, of a particular line. Now, question A, point A to uh, 3, 4 and B, 7, 6. All right, so I prepare this slide, yeah, which has the same question there at the top. Yeah, I'm quickly going to sketch it uh, to show you what is going on. A at 3, 4. So let's put that here. Point A is at 3, 4 and B is at 7, 6. All right, roughly there. B, 7, 6. This is a sketch, yeah, because it tells me important information. Because what does it tell me? Well, it tells me I'm looking for a positive gradient. Okay? And the gradient of a line is the amount of steps you go up if you go one step to the right. Yeah? So I'm looking for the question mark if you like. But in this situation, he goes how many steps to the right from three to seven. So he's going four steps to the right. And when he goes four steps to the right, he goes from four to six. So he's going two steps up. Okay, that's the situation, but how do we calculate it? What I've shown you in previous videos is that you find, yeah, so if you have to calculate the gradient, you find the difference in the y direction. And I'm gonna write down delta y, yeah, the difference in the y direction, divided by the difference in the x direction. All right, let me continue here. So the difference in the y direction, well, I know it's two because that is six minus four, yeah, six minus four divided by seven, take away three. Six minus four, that is two, divided by seven minus three is four. Two over four uh, is a fraction, fantastic. We always have to simplify that and uh, take out the common factor. So the answer is a half. So apparently the line going through these two points, if it goes one step to the right, it goes half a step up. Okay, let's see if that's true. So if he goes four steps to the right, he goes two steps up. Yeah, four times a half is two. Eh? So that will be a half, another step, that's one, one and a half, and then two. Yeah, so we have four steps and we'll go two steps up. So that makes complete sense. The gradient is a half. Okay, now the second question, question B. I wrote it here. What is the gradient of the line going through point C and point D? Now again, let's just quickly sketch that point C minus two, five, yeah, so roughly here. Um, minus two, five, D is three, minus five, that's all the way down there. Uh, D, that is three minus five. Okay, it's a sketch, yeah, so it's not accurate and it's probably even wrong, but it's just gonna show me, it's gonna tell me something about um, the gradient because the line's going down, so it's a negative gradient I'm looking for, a negative gradient. Okay, now, if I would turn that into, oh, did this well, see here or see there? Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? It's a sketch. If I turn it into a right angle triangle like this, how many steps do I go to the right? From minus two all the way to three. So those are two steps, another three, five steps. And how many steps am I going down? From five to minus five. So he's going 10 steps down. Yeah, so if you like, you can put there a minus 10. But okay, we have to calculate it. And we've said, well, that the gradient is the difference in the y direction over the difference in the x direction. So minus five, yeah, I take this y coordinate, minus five divided by three minus, minus two. So please make sure you're very consistent and very accurate with those signs, eh? Three minus minus two. Uh, can't go wrong if you just do it properly. Minus five. Minus five is minus 10 divided by three minus minus two, which is five. Yeah, because that turns into a positive. Minus 10 divided by five is minus two. That means 
that if he would go one step to the right, he goes minus two steps up. And so two steps down. So five steps to the right, indeed five times minus two, he would go minus 10 steps up, so 10 steps down, okay? So the gradient is minus two. The difference in the y direction divided by the difference in the x direction. If you like y2 minus y1, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, x2 minus x1. It's your turn now. I know you can do it. All the best.